Okay, so in this final lecture, we're gonna be uh, adding some details, finalizing our model. So let's uh, find out. So first, I would like to work on the mouth. So for the mouth, what I would like to do is to add. Let me keep make sure that this subdivision modifier is activated. So I would like to add some edge loops over here to define this uh, loop, this edge over here, like this. You can see the result right now. But over here we don't want to exaggerate that. So let's reverse back like this. Also for this one. And we can also check it out. To have that nice ridge. Alright. Also on this interior, interior edge. I would like to extrude and go inside like this. You can go up. All right. Same thing that I would like to do. The second thing that I would like to do is to simply take these up just a bit. Can also add a layer over here. Gonna simply add it over here. Add the new layer, new edge loops, and I'm gonna bring this up. And there we go. So now you can see this nice details. You can also bring these points out just a bit. Can bring them outside like this. This one is bring it down. Let's keep it that way. Same thing for this in the beginning of the chain. I would like to add insert a new edge loop. Like this, and let's check this and make it to the middle. Let's see the results. Yes, I like it. For the chin, we can bring it out just a bit. Out there, we go. So, now as you can see, that our mouth starts to look realistic. Okay, so for the, for the eyes, for the eyes, what I would like to add, let me fix these points and at this location I would like to select this extrude it just a bit and extrude inside like this and over here I would like to fill this point gonna fill it like this okay so that you can have that nice details okay so now I would like to add that uh, that sphere, that eye sphere, this one. So I'm gonna add this one, go to the settings, and I'm gonna change it to maybe just the health, divide it by two, which is 16, and I'm gonna spin it on the x axis by 90 degree. Go to the front view, let's go ahead and scale it down. Which is, you can see this issue, so we need to turn off that scraping for just a moment. Clip it like this, scale it down, go to the wireframe, and let's put it right in the middle, just like this. Yep, something like this. Now I'm gonna bring it outside. Yep, something like this. Gonna scale it even up. And now what I would like to do is to separate it. Let me first make these adjustments. You can also scale it on the Y. Make it flat just a bit let's see if this is gonna work or not okay so now what I'd like to do is to separate it from the rest so hit B separate selection I'm gonna select my head and I would like now to let's remove that subdivision modifier because we don't want to be confused with the amount of de details we have <coughs> so now what I would like to do is to select 
these edges hit O to activate that proportional editor and I would like to bring it out just like this you can take this one to something like this there we go and over here I would like to go inside you can check for example three points and bring them inside all right so let's bring back that subdivision modifier okay good we can also go and start sculpting some details so I'm gonna switch to the this sculpting uh, mode and let's start working on it so over here I would like to smooth this part so I think we need to work on this part over here And over here we can bring this one out just a bit. Hit control so that you can revert the, the effect of the brush. Something like this. We don't want to exaggerate that effect. But as you can see it's important. Okay. I think that something like this would be fine also over here I would like to smooth this part over you can see that we have a lot of uh, noise over there so something like this will be good same thing over here let's smooth that part okay here just a bit let's uh, make the strength of that 0.25 and let's smooth that part there we go okay I think we're on right track also over here I would like to show you how we can smooth the ear so we need to bring this one like this smooth this part over here I would like to make this part a little bit bigger and let's smooth this area just like this also there is another way to smooth those vertex using this uh, that uh, smooth vertex let me show you that so by simply you can select a bunch of vertex like this you can go over here to vertex and smooth vertex and it's gonna start smoothing this part but I prefer this way the, the sculpting way okay so what I would like to do let's work on this part don't like this one it looks I think for the back of the head it looks good you can also do this add some details over here just to help us define that edge so this is it we finished creating our character I think this is a good start for absolute beginners to create your first uh, character so this is this has been just an introduction so I uh, thank you so much for sticking with me during this course if you have any questions feel free to contact me send a message or anything that you want so okay so thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you soon take care